Hi guys, um, I thought I'd do another build for you here. This one, or the next set of builds that I'm going to do is for PvP. And this one is for the Sith Inquisitor, and it's um, the advanced class is Sorcerer. I've done, if you check my other videos, you can see an Assassin PvP build. So I thought it would be fitting to do a PvP Sorcerer build. Um, by no means are these builds set in stone, so feel free to change them. But uh, yeah, they should do you well if you're thinking about going into PvP to help you. Now, basically what you've got with the Sorcerer tree in um, in Star Wars The Old Republic is a tanking and healing sort of tree that's more geared towards healing. Um, so that's what I've done with the PvP build here. Um, I'll just start putting on the points, but basically we're using the Corruption tree and the um, lightning tree for the damage but uh, basically what we're going to do here is I'll just look, put the points on you want to put two on haunting presence you want to stick three on seeping darkness you want to stick um, two on force suffusion, suffusion rather um, and then stick two on empty body stick three on lucidity then you want to move up and stick two on dark resilience. You want to pick up resurgence and then stick two on force bending. And then moving up you want to stick two on fade out. You want to stick two on reconstruct. You want to pick up sift purity. Um, put two on life surge. A lot of these, I mean, as the as the um, the tree suggests, is like healing, and in, basically it's either healing or um, increasing or lowering the cost of your abilities and so on. So pick up, innovate, um, stick two on conspiring force, stick two on force search, three on penetrating darkness, and pick up revocation at the top okay now moving on basically we've got some skills here from the lightning tree you want to stick three on convection you want to stick two on reserves increases your force then you just want to put oh so, sorry yeah no you want to stick one on lightning spire and one on exogenate that's it sorry guys um i've i've got it and then one on lightning barrier and that's um of course you can change this around use it the way you want but that should give you quite a solid pvp build that works very well for longevity basically if you want to survive for a long time and it's sort of it's not so much a tanking build because you haven't got that much damage but you can survive a long time and you've got a good set of skills there so um give that a go let me know what you think and i will keep the builds coming cheers